I want this to be a GameCube. I don't think there needs to be more intro than that. This is from 2012, but it looks like super early 2000s, like teen glamour, and it's an alarm clock slash radio. These side parts are a speaker. Of course, you can put discs in it, and it's like the perfect size for this, because it's a little bit bigger than a GameCube. If I weren't using this for a video, I'd maybe marry it, but we've, we've leveled up on this channel. We've invested in better tools, and by invested, I mean I grew a year older and was given as a birthday gift. I, it might seem like I'm just rushing into this, but honestly, at this point, intros are, are for boring people. The attention span was like five seconds, so now it's gotta be like one second. I need to immediately jump into the content of the video. In fact, I should probably just skip to the end right now. <coughs> pretty curious to what the inside of this looks like. I know what the inside of GameCube looks like, actually. I actually drew up this schematic with a pencil. Kind of hard to get it to go into sheet metal, so I know what a GameCube looks like on the inside, but they didn't have one of these. I mean, I didn't draw one of these that was for one of these Hello Kitty radios, so we're gonna kind of have to open it up and see. Uh, as you can see, I also got a pink controller, and I got this emblem to put on the controller, but as you can see, it's way too big. As you can see, um, so as you can see, I'm gonna try to make this look legit. I'm not just gonna cut holes and stuff and have it be a generally function housing for the GameCube. I want it to look good. Awesome. Wow, okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. Definitely a lot of plastic we're gonna have to cut away. In order to have the GameCube disc reader in here, we are gonna have to cut away this plastic as well. Of course, it'll look good when it's shut, and hopefully it'll look good when it's open, because I hopefully can just, in general, make things look good. I've never always been great at that. I bet they do the Nintendo thing. They hide screws underneath these pads. Nintendo does that. And they actually only do it because they hate me. Yep, it's Nintendo. They're just always trying to mess up my day, ruin my videos. They copyright claimed all of my Sonic Boom YTPs. That's a joke, by the way, and I have to specify that because people might actually think that I'm serious. I actually, a lot of people don't know this, but I used to, I was Hello Kitty. They designed Hello Kitty after me because I used to be the father, I had the son of, I think I exhausted these jokes in the last video. I'm just going to stop. I mean, that kind of fits. What if we just did this? Well, that very much fits and looks cool. Ah. It's the sound I make when things impact other things. Eh. There are some screws way under there. I'm just waiting for someone to put in the comments under where I'm gonna get them so hard. Why are these gotta be such a project? People in the Hello Kitty factory are pretty good at making Rubik's cubes, I bet. How does any of this work? They've created an unsolvable puzzle. As cool as this whole alarm clock is, it will serve more purpose to me as a GameCube. So don't feel bad that I'm destroying it. All right, we're just, it's just coming apart. In fact, this is it right now. It's nice too, because like the sides in this being speakers means I won't have to cut out ventilation. I know it won't be great ventilation, but come on, like your game crashes sometimes, but it looks like a Hello Kitty speaker. I think that's worth it. Let's get a little more of a zoom here. So you guys aren't just looking at Blurry the whole time. Blurry's a nice guy, but he's just not much to look at. And this speaker is actually just kind of glued in here. All right. You guys will actually be happy to hear. Actually, no one probably cares, but this only cost me like 25 bucks. If school taught me anything, you can just rip this out. Call it stupid. Now from the outside, I want it to look almost like it's unchanged. And I want all the buttons on this thing to remain the same as well. If anyone wants the insides of a Hello Speaker Kitty, son of a gun. If anyone wants the insides to a Hello Kitty speaker thing, good luck. This one's mine. Click this back on. We've got all the shell parts. That's awesome. So the next step is to open this dude up. We just gotta give it some, oh. There's literal seeds and nuts in this thing. It's fine, we might get a little snacky later. Look at that. Look at how easy that was, Hello Kitty thingy. How, how, why couldn't you do something like this, huh? So let's say this is like this. This, simply, oh, it's really, it's really close. There's like too much stuff sticking out on the sides here to do it. This might just be so perfect. I'm gonna go and slice a bunch of this extra plastic stuff off and then we'll see how it fits. That's, 
gonna be a basement job though. And we don't show you guys what the basement's like now. You haven't seen it in a bit. You don't wanna see it right now. You might have to though at some point. Eh, whatever. We'll see, we'll see how good you guys are. We'll consult Santa's list. You know what? All right. So I got a little carried away off camera. It won't quite fit in with this plastic thing, so I had to take it out. Yes, I was mining caves in Afghanistan. All right, I got my mic on. That's how much I care. So for the most part, if we can get this to stay in this shape, this is all you need for the GameCube. This is a pretty small console, actually. You'll find most Nintendo consoles are like that. Apparently you take the Wii apart. If you wanted to take the control panel off of a Wii and use it, you take away the disc tray and like 90% of the actual panel. So you can make a Wii like this big. We need to test if this works like this. So I just happen to have a TV right here. And this isn't even like a setup or a joke or anything. I literally just happen to have this here. Turn the TV on. Get it? That one was actually funny. I don't know what you're talking about. AV. I, I, this might be the easiest video I've ever done. All right, we just gotta figure a way to get this safely inside the Hello Kitty thing. I'm gonna like get a general retrofitation. That sounds wrong. I'm gonna get it generally up to, up to, I'm doing stuff in the basement, I'll be up in a minute. All right, this is a part of the basement. All right, it doesn't make any sense. Allow me to clarify. There's certain parts of the basement that are really not clean right now and I don't wanna show people. It's not that the whole basement is that bad, because this area is not bad. It's actually kind of a nice workspace. But for like the sake of making it sound more extreme than it is, for like the flamboyancy of video creation, I was just saying, oh, don't look in the basement. But that then encompassed the whole basement into that realm of things you didn't want to see. So I, I, I had to kind of clarify, it's just some of the basement is bad. I'm gonna work. And so I began work. Then I stopped. All right, here's where we're at. This thing's pretty much all together. You put her in here, functional GameCube. And it should be just the perfect size, which is perfect. Hence why I call it the perfect size. That's why they paid me the big bucks. So for a lot of videos, I try to use music from the theme of the video. So I was looking through Hello Kitty video game music to use as background and honestly not a whole lot of it's that good so i opted for de blob aka elevator music the game but the song you're hearing now is from hello kitty roller rescue for the gamecube and the reason that i wanted to point this out and talk about it instead of what's going on is that it's a pretty cheery sounding song pretty happy a little bit childish maybe somewhat pretentiously so but the name of this ost is the haunted lot i just i just didn't think it was fitting I, I, that's it. All right. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Get the sleep out of my throat. All right, day two. I got to empty the resin from this, so it is resiny. Basically, at this point, all we have to do is put the actual main GameCube inside of this. Just have it mounted pretty sturdily. We've got a few different knobs on this thing. Here's the power button. We'll obviously have to make that pushable from somewhere. But the way that this mounts in here, this will mount something like this. This thing, I, I believe, makes sure that the disc tray is shut before it runs discs. And we don't need an eject button because you can just lift this. So I'm just going to mount it now. Sorry, eye contact. I was going to buy a Hello Kitty game to test this out with, but I just thought of that idea right now, so I didn't quite have time. This next song is from Hello Kitty's Magic Apron, which I believe was a music-based arcade game where you cook stuff. Uh, it's called Hamburger, and it's kind of about the inner workings of how you make a hamburger. Uh, the lyrics right now are you grill, and then you flip, and then you put a little salt on. And I kind of want to showcase this song just because I thought it was kind of a good reflection on us as a society, seeing as I'm from the U.S. Hamburgers are a big part of my culture, and I saw this song as kind of significant in that regard and just kind of reminded me of my heritage. All right, I brought this thing down to the dungeon and it has emerged more powerful than I could have even imagined. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a quick ouch rundown of, of what we've done here. Basically, we've got it mounted on this frosted-ish front plate fan on the side, so these 
speaker holes are the air vents. I'm gonna get those sticklers about ventilation like I do every time saying there's not enough ventilation. When you make your own, drill some holes in it. See how you like it. Uh, the power button will just be the, the, the same power button on here. We're just gonna assemble and it retains almost the exact exterior appearance even down to the battery port, and that's exactly what I wanted. Like, I, I don't mean to start gawking about how well this turned out yet, but all I wanted was one of these radios, but it was a GameCube. And assuming this works, I've achieved that pretty darn well. Shut this. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, that's something I didn't foresee. Could just give it a little bit of a notch or something too. Let me get the hot glue. Fun little Easter egg not a lot of people know about my channel is I have the magical power of being able to make my voice go anywhere I want. So I could just, I mean, I could talk to any one of you right now in real life if I wanted. I tend to just use it for video purposes. I mean, I figured that was probably the best use of my power. What am I going to do? Talk to terrorists behind enemy lines? Convince them to stop killing people? Talk to foreign leaders and try to negotiate world peace. They don't even speak English. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of hot glue to the inside edges of this. You won't even see it, but just enough to make it so that it stays down. Wait for this to heat up. Uh, I also gotta do something with the controller. Hello Kitty controller. Hello Kitty GameCube. Hello babes. People will be running for miles to check out my Hello Kitty GameCube. Why ain't this melting? Did I jump scare you? Did I get you? I'm really bored. There's nothing to do. Try this. That shut's good. That's it. This is it, boys. This is the finished Hello Kitty GameCube. Look at the back. I got the cables all to stick out of this part. Uh, oh. I am a failure. If, if it doesn't work, I'm very scared. I know of maybe two or three things it could possibly be. Let me go get a game. I'm not crying, I'm just, I'm burpy. All right, I got the most early 2000s game I could find. Crazy Taxi! What was that? You thought I got the real Crazy Taxi narrator to be in this video? I'm just that good. Aesthetically speaking, this might be the most pleasing thing I've created. Now, functionally speaking, we will see. Oh my gosh. I'm just the perfect creator guy now. I just, I, out of all the people who create things, guys, on YouTube, I've made the perfect, the perfect item. <laughs> people getting hit by cars. Come on over, have some fun with Crazy Taxi! That guy sounds just like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe this game has got copyrighted music, I completely forgot. Actually, maybe you can turn the music off. Alright, no music. Sorry, Offspring. Peter needs to make some money once in a while. Hey, let's go make some crazy money. <laughs> That's what, me, me when I was not using the Offspring music in my video. Here we go. Oh, it's Artigo. <laughs> hey, 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 Fat Albert. Oh, I probably can't reference that. Yo, thanks. Yeah, I got you. There's not much to commentate about this game. Go to the Levi store where you can get quality pants for the whole family at an affordable price. <laughs> yeah, you've killed seven people. All right, well, this game's not that fun to watch me play, especially on a camera aiming at a screen. I'm pretty happy with this. There's no reset button. That's the only drawback. GameCube is so cool. And you know what else is cool? Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty's cool. I personally think. Now that it's a GameCube anyway. It's a bizarre property. And now I'm gonna be able to trick a lot of people who, cause I mean, if, if I told you there was a Hello Kitty edition to the GameCube, you'd probably believe it. And now I have like visuals to back it up. But yeah, this is it. I've, I've officially reached a point where one of the random stupid projects I've done this channel actually turned out identical to how I wanted it. This is the perfect thing. I made the perfect thing. Tune in next time when I vlog my ascension into ecstasy. All is right in the world.